UKIP's British Euro candidates, a Sri Lankan and an Argentinian living in Spain. The scandal-ridden UKIP party, still reeling under the revelations that its leader Nigel Farage has swindled claimed more than £2 million in expenses, has now been exposed as a thoroughly non-British party whose candidates include an Argentinian who now resides in and is a citizen of Spain, and a Sri Lankan, both of whom are on record as enthusiastic supporters of the European Union. UKIP's adoption of the Argentinian-born, Spanish citizen and resident Marta Andreessen as an MEP candidate must be one of the most hypocritical, ridiculous and outrageous events of this year's entire European election campaign. Mr Farage has had to specially waive his own party's rules, which forbid non-UK nationals from standing for his fake party. MS Andreessen's candidacy in fact has given legitimacy to the entire EU concept. She does not live in Britain, holds an EU passport, and yet is standing for election in the south-east of England with Mr Farage. More importantly, MRS Andreessen is actually in favour of the EU, and is diametrically opposed to its disbandment which Mr Farage claims is the purpose of his party. In fact, MRS Andreessen is on record as stating the following, I have been called a Eurosceptic, but I am not one. I want to fight for a good EU project. To do that we must fight for transparency, for responsibility, for accountability. We need real reform of the EU. But the new constitution will do nothing to combat the Brussels culture of graft, secrecy and corruption that so tarnishes the European dream. Marta Andreessen, The Times, December 6, 2004 And I asked myself, to whom was I not loyal? I wonder who can say that I'm not a true European, so to speak. I have been called Eurosceptic and anti-European when I risked my job for defending the interests of the citizens of Europe. Marta Andreessen, Speech to an International Rally, April 9, 2005 the fact that MRS Andreessen is a number two candidate for UKIP is conclusive evidence that this party is nothing but a front, designed to try and deceive patriotic British voters into thinking they are voting for a Eurosceptic party when it is nothing of the sort. To add insult to injury, Mr Farage has alienated most of his East Midlands activists by parachuting Sri Lankan-born Deva Kumar Osiri into his party's candidate list in that region. Mr Kumar Osiri who was appointed without UKIP East Midlands even being consulted, was until only a few weeks ago a staunch supporter of the Liberal Democrats, which is the most heavily pro-EU party out there. Mr Kumar Rossi is now almost a daily visitor to UKIP's Nottingham office, where he spends most of the day drinking coffee and doing very little else. Mr Kumar Rossi is set to be one of the star speakers at Farage's much-vaunted Exeter rally. No doubt he will regale members with tales of how he used to refuse to serve certain customers, the disgruntled UKIP insider blogged. Members may be interested to know that Mr Kumar Osiri has said that unless UKIP pay all his travelling and hotel expenses he will be unable to attend the rally. Kumar Osiri has also demanded that all his MEP election expenses, including his deposit, be paid for by UKIP. I can confirm that Farage has agreed to this. I wonder if Stuart Wheeler is happy with the cavalier way Farage has spent his £100,000 donation? As Kumar Osiri owns two houses I would have thought that he could have at least managed to find the money to pay his deposit.